I smile. You shouldn't have worn heels. What do you want to look like, a hitcher or a hiker? I told you, guys more have to stop if he's high heels. So you told me. There's still murder on the back of my legs. Oh, my feet. Come on. Another one coming. Smile. Thanks, mister. One ever does stop. I hope he's not like that last one. He was awful. I never told you this was easy. You just... Smile. Say. Looks like you could use a little transportation. Yeah, another mile. We could use an ambulance. Well, how far are you going? How far are you going? Scranton. That's close enough for us. Well, one of you can ride up front with me. I won't bite you. I'll take a chance. Just so we get everything straight, we got stranded back in Wilkes-Barre. Some job we was promised fell through. Yeah, we're just trying to get home. Oh, sure. Not that we don't appreciate oh, this. No trouble. I just like coming. For a minute, mister. I don't feel so good. Yeah, sure. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Hey, what? But you won't be. Not if you don't pull over by those trees. Yeah, yeah, sure. Give me the ignition key. Empty your pockets. Any tricks and I'll blast you. You a family man? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Think about your family before you sound off to the police. You could give them a story that might not make you sound like such an upstanding citizen. You know what I mean? Yes. Inside overcoat pockets and long, thick envelopes are sometimes in there. Look, the car isn't mine. You're not going to take that, too, are you? You hit it, mister. Right on the head. Oh. You got everything? Yeah. Let's get him out of here. from the road. Hey, Midge, how come I do all the hitting? Well, for now. When you've been with it longer, I'll let you work in the front seat. Come on, let's see what we got. Give me the stuff in the bag. Come on. Ain't we lucky? A lot of orders for tin cans. Must be a couple. Three hundred bucks in this wallet. You find anything else? Only this funny check. Checks are poison, kid. Remember that. Three hundred bucks. Made out to Victor Smith. Must be his name, huh? Wait a minute. This is a cashier's check. That's different. But I thought you said that... That's different. Come on, let's get this heap on the road. Help me slide the seat forward. Yeah, you're short. Needs the guy! All right, you little... Smart John. Real smart John. You killed him. Not me, Johnny. Us. Us? Right. I think 
there's a river over there. Let's get rid of it. Well, I found one. I had one in the personnel file. Good. You say he was driving a company car. Was it registered out of your Pittsburgh office or here out of your home office? Pittsburgh. Vic's wife called me from there to say that she hadn't heard from him last night. And she called the hotel where he was supposed to stop, but he hadn't arrived. You better check all the accounts in his route, see if he picked up a large sum of money. Well, what'll you do? If Mr. Victor Smith is in New York City, he's probably at some hotel. I'll check the Midtown hotels first. There are about 200 of them. probably know his car in every gas station on the road. Besides, we're only an hour from New York. New York? You mean it? Sure. Why not? It's a big city. Easy to get lost. We've got dough now, kid. We're as good as anybody else. Hey, how about that? We check in some classy hotel, swell food, dreamy clothes. Oh, we really live it up. Hey, how about fellas? Do you know any fellas in New York? I think I know a couple. First thing we gotta do is get this car into the city and dump it. Well, why not leave it here and hitch in? Hitching is for poor people. I told you, we got dough. Besides, an empty car way out here. Why don't we just leave a sign saying, look in the mill pond and you'll find a dead yeah, body. Sure. Well, we could dump it in a parking lot and just never call for it. Yeah. In a couple of days, the attendants start remembering who we are. Uh-uh. Just park it on a busy street. By the time they start checking, we'll be long gone. Head up that way, turn around, and go in the opposite direction. So long, sucker. three days ago. I knew people gave him an order, but no cash. Payable in 60 days? I see. No, 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 no. No trouble at all. Just routine. Thanks, Charlie. Any luck? Well, I guess that answers that. I'm just about finished with all the accounts in Vic's territory. Altoona Foods gave him $75, but apparently that's all. I doubt if he'd have gone at those prices. Oh. Oh, just a moment. It's police. Why don't you take it? Hello? Yeah. Pennsylvania license number 08-72. It's, it's Fix. Yeah, that's right, Sergeant. The company car, Black Nash. Yeah, it'll be taken care of. Yeah. 
Yeah. I got it. Okay, somebody be right out to pick it up. Right. They've issued three parking tickets on it. The cop saw your sticker on the windshield. Mike, I'm a little scared. I'll look the car over and bring it back. You stay here, Joe. Catch some of my return calls. This may be the break. An abandoned car usually has a story to tell. This one was no exception. A blonde bobby pin in the front seat. Vic Smith was five feet 11, but the seat was pushed up forward for a short driver. The rear view mirror. Lipstick smeared and twisted around for a girl to fix her makeup. And a pretty tall girl at that. That was the story. A little more information about Smith's wife. Well, I can give you that. What color is her hair and how tall is she? Well, Emma's a brunette. She's about medium height. And this couldn't be her bobby pin. A short girl was driving that car and she had a tall girl with her. One of them was a blonde. Fine. That description fits about half the women in America. What do we do now? More legwork. There are more hotels to check and less time to do it in. Why? Because if we haven't found Smith by tomorrow night, I'm turning everything over to the police, whether you like it or not. You know, I'm beginning to think you're all right. You mind if I go along with you? Okay with me. We'll take Smith's car. After we've checked every hotel, we'll start on the garages. Yeah. Well, just charge it. To Miss Smith. Either one. Thanks. So we the Smith sisters. That's how I registered. Yeah. It worked out real fine. It's the life, huh? Twelve clams a day and we don't bat an eyelash. Yeah, we haven't paid the bill yet. You know, I've been thinking. You know the fellow you introduced me to? You mean Jerry? Yeah. He's real nice. Yeah, he's got real nice money. He's a good dancer, too. You know, last night he got pretty serious at the shooting gallery. He did, huh? Uh-huh. Well, he didn't exactly ask me to marry him, but well, you could tell it was on his mind, you know. Did they get that look? That look don't mean nothing. We're going to have to get out of here. We're getting low on cash. We're going to have to be hitting the road again. Yeah. It's all right with me. Now I get the willy sinking. Suppose that door should open and a couple of cops walk in. You worried, kid? You aren't, huh? So what would you do, huh? What would you do? I'd just tell him to come right in. Two days now, Mike, and still no word from Smith. I don't think he's playing hooky, and I don't think he's run out with the treasury. I think something's happened to him. So do I. And so does Mrs. Smith. I didn't tell you this, but she's notified the police. I didn't tell you this, but so do I. When? This morning. I gave him everything we have, such as it is. They put out a three-state pickup on him, as well as a routine missing persons. Well, I was foolish not to go to them first. If your company can afford it, I'd like to stay on the case. After all, we've got a head start. The police will want to backtrack on all our leads. We can start on some new ones. Oh, it isn't the money. You've done all that could be done, but... Let's try again first thing in the morning. If we're still out in left field by noon, I'll turn in my suit. Road map, stupid. How does Chicago sound to you? Mm, nice. I've got a good route all mapped out. If we can't get a through ride, we'll zigzag, and then nobody can trail it. Mm, nothing's as good as New York, sir. You know, I'm going to miss that, Jerry. He's real nice. Well, we got to go. We're at the bottom of the barrel. No more cash. Chicago, huh? That where you sent all our new clothes? Yeah. Care of general delivery. We'll pick them up when we get there. What are you doing? Remember how we registered? Yeah. Smith sisters. And you remember this check? Yeah. Well, we still got a hotel bill to pay yet. Look a little and learn a little, kid. Am I right in the 
look like anything the writing on the check? Sure it does. The same ink? That's why I kept this pen. Plenty of practice. Watch. Victoria Smith. That's you. That's how I registered. And that's how I'm going to cash it. Before anybody figures this one out, we'll be 20 miles past East Oatmeal, PA. Come on. Let's get your things and get out of here. Excuse me. Oh, good morning, Miss Smith. Are you checking out? Yeah, we are. I I'd like to pay the rest of my bill with this check, if that's all right. Well, you'll have to see the assistant manager for that. Well, check's all right. It's a cashier's check. See? Uh, I'm sure of that. Uh, he'll just have to initial it. His office is just beyond the cigar stand on the other side of the... Oh, here he is now. Uh, Mr. Hall. I'll take care of it, Mr. Lockup. Mr. Hall, yes? these are the Smith girls, 1102. They want to cash a check. They're leaving us. That's a lot of money for a little girl. Sure is. Sure goes fast in this town. Golly. I work for the Crandall store in Pittsburgh. This is my sister. Hi. I won a contest at the plant where the first prize was a trip to New York, all expenses paid. Mr. Scott, he's the manager of our department. He's smart. He's afraid we'd go broke in the store, so he made us put part of the money in this check just so we'd get home all right. He was smart. I'm sure it's all right. Mr. Claire will take care of you. Hope you come to see us again soon. Excuse me? Thank you. Somebody. Have you had any Smiths registered here in the last three days? Are you kidding? Oh, yes, sir. We have three Smiths. And uh, a fancy one, Smith with an E, just checked out. We see their signatures? Why, of course. Here's a Smith. Here's our 808 Smith. Uh, here's the Smith with an E. And uh, this is our last Smith. No, no. Well, thanks very much. Here's a picture of the man we're looking for. Look. Says Victor. Had an IA to get Victoria. Had an E to the Smith. Victor Smith. Victoria Smith. Victoria and Judy Smith, Pittsburgh. You said they checked out? About five minutes ago. Uh, they went out through our cab entrance on Madison. Can you describe them to us? Just a couple of kids, good-looking, uh, maybe living a little too high. One was short and dark, uh, the other nicely built, tall, and a blonde. We've hit. I have a check of theirs here. That's our Pittsburgh bank. Keep this on ice. It's a forgery. What now, Mike? Did they say what their destination was? No, sir. We better have a look at their room. Okay with you? Oh, certainly. Uh, the elevator's right over there. Did you find anything, Mike? This brother has some impressions. Letter E and a complete word. Victoria. This is funny. A heavy irregular line. Like a road, route of some kind. Like they marked a route on a road map. What makes you think that? These gals are hitch heisters. What? Young girls will hitch a ride, then heist the car and the driver's money. Everything fits in. The abandoned car, the stuff I found in the front seat, Victor Smith's check. Well, does that mean Vic might be? It's a vicious racket these girls are in. But we still may be able to catch them. I'll make a tracing of this row here. Hold that. There's some road maps down at the desk. All right. Let's go down and see what this fits. I 
I still think the Holland Tunnel's our best bet. I'm going to try New Jersey again. Sure, there it is. The Holland Tunnel. Leading straight into Trenton and then heading west. Well, what are we waiting for? Joe, call the police and give them the whole spread. I'll take the car and head across US-1. There are a lot of towns and lights on that road. They can't have gotten very far. going as far as Philadelphia. Oh, well, that's okay with us. We're trying to get home by tomorrow. That's Evanston. All right, hop in. You girls like music? Sure. Sure. Right. Where'd you get the car? Why, I just bought it yesterday. Yeah? Who from? A guy named Smith, Victor Smith. He's dead! Shut up. You better talk fast, mister. Where'd you get this car? Just told you, from a guy named Victor Smith from Pittsburgh. Maybe it wasn't dead. I saw bubbles come up when we threw him in, but, but maybe... Shut up. I think this guy's a cop. Oh, what's the diff? He's not gonna talk now. Not now. I wouldn't use that if I were you. Why not? Pays pretty good so far. You don't think I came out alone, do you? Think someone followed us? That's an old trick, mister. Then you won't mind if I do this. Go ahead, shoot. We're only doing 80. Stop! Don't even... Okay, here they come. What is this? Stop! Stop this car! Stop! Stop! Sure. Yeah. We've been alerted for you. The whole road staked out from here to Trenton. They look awfully young to be killers. How young does a killer have to look? Yeah, you've got a point there, brother. Yeah. 